Hey, I'm Adam with Adam's Oil. I got the Lincoln Ranger taken off the welding rig. And when I was doing that, I realized not everyone can start out with as nice of a machine as this is. So I figured I'd show you how you can set up to do mobile welding for under $300. Stay tuned. But this here is the machine I actually got started welding with when I was doing my, got started doing mobile welding. It's a AutoArc Toolmate 100. I picked it up from Tractor Supply with a 20% discount for $175 and some change. Uh, it's a 100 amp flex core machine that can weld up to quarter inch, which is about all you'll be doing starting out. Uh, it welds pretty decent for what it is, and it's I did some quite a few jobs with it before I actually got this Lincoln Ranger. So the next thing I picked up was some of these Chicago Electric Grinders. I picked them up, uh, I think I got a coupon and it was like 10 bucks for the grinder. I picked up a nice set of Miller gloves. These are the only gloves I really like for MIG, stick, and flux core welding. I picked up a chipping hammer for uh, five bucks and a wire brush. I think I picked up for like a dollar eighty. And then I picked up this Jackson 4x5 welding helmet. It's I got a gold lens in it, but the helmet was like fifty bucks and the gold lens is like 10 but with this I did my first couple welding jobs the first job I did was a set of window bars a guy had brought me he wanted me to duplicate and he then brought me a set of table frames he wanted me to weld up and I did four of them for him followed by about six months later I did a awning on the front of this business we made some triangle frames for mount the awning off of and some kickouts to mount to the roof and we made the frames uh, and hung them up. Took about two days to do. We made the frames on the first day, installed them the second day. Then we put runners across to mount the uh, sheet metal to. And these are all jobs I did with this welder and this setup. And then I'm going to put some pictures of the welds now that I was able to achieve with this welder. But if you've got one of these small welders, and if you've got a smaller generator like that there, you can run this and run it well pretty much anywhere. When I got this water, I didn't get it with the mindset that, oh, this would last me 10, 20 years, and I'd be able to weld anything I wanted with. I got this water knowing its limitations. It was a small 110 amp water that I might be able to do a quarter inch, might not. I got it knowing most of what I'd be doing is 3 sixteenths and under. And it lasted me for the jobs I needed it for, and it paid for itself several times over. So you got to go into it with the mindset that it might not last you 10, 15 years. But what your goal is so that it pays for itself, gets you the work, you can get the work done. And that you can make enough money to buy something better like this Ranger. So you can really get into welding for a fairly low amount of money. You just have to put in the practice yourself and get good with the equipment you have. So with that being said, keep on welding folks and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and click the little bell icon to be notified of our future videos.